hey you guys it's a Carl 10 it's a Carl what's happening so today it's going to be a part two video on how to install the 3d image projectile so if you have no idea what I'm talking about go to the description and watch part one and then it will answer all your questions so don't email don't send me a message saying hey what are you talking about a cardo well anyway that's not what this video is about well basically it is but first you want to download Google Earth I'm not going to be showing you how to do that for one when I did show you and make I made this video before and showed you how and everything was just fine but guess what for the viewers the youtubers like you I don't think you want to watch a video of mine that's nine minutes right well anyway you have to use Internet Explorer or Chromain, Google Chromain, or Firefox. I just want to go to Google. And you want to type in A R S T I S T I G H s dot com s t i g h t s there it'll be the first link and it'll be right here that's basically the site and you want to download this right now the google Earth plugin you have to download that just click right here. I like running my software. Oh, well, I know that this will take forever, so I will. Wait, did it? You press continue. It'll take forever, so I'll just pause this video real quick and be back in a second. All right. So it's pretty much done. Well, I'll let that load a little fast. Shouldn't take that long. Alright, so it's pretty much done and I'll say thank you for installing Google Earth plugin. That's pretty much it. You wanna press back and you wanna download this. If you have a Windows XP or Vista, click here, a Mac OS X click here. You have to have a Intel processor. If you don't, don't try because it won't work. I'm pretty much sure. Oh, did I click Mac? Yes, I did. I want to click Windows. I'll run it. It's kind of weird. It took, it went to WinRaw. That's kind of weird. You have five seconds left. You want to press run. And basically, you want to press allow English. Go through their little setup. I agree. Let me just take a second. next finish and now what you want to do is go right here to the marker what it'll pretty much look like is this right here this is what you want to download I mean not download but print you just want to press print if you don't have a printer then I don't know use your friends I don't know don't talk to me about that what you want to do is cut right here, right here, right here, and right here. And basically you cut that and it will look like this. Yes, I did print out another one just to show you guys. Once you're done with that, you could basically close this actually. And I did have Google, I already had Google Earth. In it, so. And you just go Google Earth. 
information in the full process. It does take a while to up, uh, upload the images. Now what you want to do is type in whatever you have. The United States has a lot. You have a lot. I want to type in France. Now be right here, the Eiffel Tower. Just click that once. Click this one. It says view 3D model. Well, basically, it can't really show you the 3D model because it does actually only work with one webcam. I'm using it to do this the thing, the screen recording. So you basically press open, open. It will not show me the actual image. If it does, I'll be suspicious. That's why it's probably, uh, yeah, it does actually show you where you need to go. It's at one, it needs to go four, two, it needs to go three, four. Okay, so it's have a webcam connected. Now you just want to wait. And that's pretty much it for this. Now I'm going to get my camera I have right here and actually show you what it looks like. All right. Hey you guys, I'm back. The reason why I couldn't screen record this is because it requires two webcams to do this, to show you. I am only have one webcam and a camcorder. That's what I'm using, basically. Get this out of the way, the original paper that I printed out. And that's pretty much it. You could get up close with it. It does look really great, you guys. I'm just holding a piece of paper. But am I really? The webcam doesn't think so. And it makes a really good background because you could have it right there for your screensaver. So, yeah, I held the Eiffel Tower before. Have you? That's what she said. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to say thank you for subscribing. And that's pretty much it on the Eiffel Tower. Right? Peace.